when, when France convenes African heads of states or Europe, is it to tell them what to do? Are these guys necessarily more intelligent than us? Why do they call us to tell us how to fix what we are already doing in Africa? Let's talk about climate. Who is destroying the climate more than who? And who should give lessons on how to uh, conserve nature and climate? Mr. Liu, mm. first and foremost, when we are talking about climate, mm. Africa has a unique climate. We are in the tropics. Mm. There are a lot of things we have in Africa that are not found in Europe and America. So it amazes me to find that people don't understand our climatic condition, want mm. to educate us mm. on climate change. That's why I said we have to open uh, Africa, Africa what? Head organization. Yes. Because the kind of diseases we have here. You talk about African disease control, something like yes, CDC. Yes, yes. We should have it. Because mm. the truth is, Mr. Leo, the kind of disease we have in Africa, they are not in Europe. A friend of mine flew to America and had malaria. They had to package leaves here to send through DHL. Because those guys don't have malaria. So they don't even know the cure to malaria. That's the reason why most of them take vaccines. A friend of mine who came from Canada said, there is a vaccine you take, but you must have a social security number in Canada. You can stay for 10 years without having typhoid. So a man who takes a vaccine against typhoid is not doing any research on typhoid. We are the ones who have typhoid here consistently because of the climate condition. Now, how do you explain, Mr. Liu, that when you were a young boy in womb, you walked with bare feet? Mm -hmm. You went to the streams of the water beside the village where there was no hygiene. You drank. There was no typhoid. You now come to Douala in the city where the water is being purified with chlorine. Every single man, you drink that same water, you have typhoid. You walk in the village with bare body. An infamous mosquito beats your body. You did not have malaria. You come to Douala, you are under a tent and you still have malaria. I don't know who deceive Africans that the fight against malaria is tent. And doctors with THD stand on television and say, one of the ways to fight against malaria is sleep. You sit in your parlor, there's no tent. By the time you leave the parlor to go to the room, mosquito has already beaten you in the parlor. So how does the tent in your room secure you from the mosquito bite that you sit in front of your house? How does the tent in your room secure you from the mosquito bite that you walk in the street? And then you hear millions and millions of dollars are invested in buying tents. Tents that remains in the room. Inside the room, Mr. Liu, tent. So outside, there is no tent. Mosquito does not stay outside. Mosquito will leave you when your body is bare outside and come and follow you where he will not be able to reach you. He will not be able to reach you under your tent. That's how bad the situation is. So you, you want to put one on one, there is a very serious problem. That's why you see Ramaphosa said, you people value the interest of your pharmaceutical companies to the lives of Africans. Because you did not give us the vaccines for COVID-19 and you refused us from producing that vaccine. Mr. Liu, if this is not greed and wickedness, I have the capacity to produce a vaccine that will help my people. You did not just provide for me, you yeah, but, stopped but, me. Yeah, yeah but, but, but when, when we make these beautiful speeches that you stopped, are we not the ones who accepted them from stopping us? Are we not Africans? Don't we have the African Union? Are we not sovereign? Are we not independent? Are we not mature enough to know what is good for us? Why do we sit and wait for persons to validate what we want and have to do? That's when now you come back to where I tell you there's no sovereignty. Mm -hmm. The purported sovereignty is a display. It's a, it's a, it's a smoke screen display. Yeah, because when you declare publicly that you stop us, <laughs> stop from, us from producing vaccines, then what would it produce some us? Who stopped the native doctors here who have produced drugs against epilepsy? Who have produced leaves against malaria and typhoid? That, that, that uh, 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 reconnects uh, bones. Bones. bones yeah. Who stopped them? Then you go to vaccine. The World Trade Organization headed by an African. You see, I told these guys just look figureheads and put to convince Africans that they are part of the international play. But they are not. The head of WTO is Gozi Ikonje Iweala. Who happens to be the chairperson of the WTO, World Organization? When African presidents went there to demand for license to produce their own vaccine, it was in that same organization where their own person is the head. 
were stopped. Just like you will hear tomorrow, they say Kofi Annan is the Secretary General of the United Nations for formality. You will hear that the head of the WHO is an Ethiopian for formality. They take this head and put who have no power. I think at the moment of the COVID-19, Africa had the best advantage to have had an opportunity to under the WTO because they had the head as an African. But unfortunately, they were resisted. Now, why would they produce Africans vaccine in Europe? Diseases operate according to tropics and based on the climatic condition. What operates as sickness in China is not what operates here. That's why the Chinese approach to health is different. Acupuncture is part of Chinese treatment. We don't have it here because we don't have sicknesses that are in line with that kind. How do you explain that somebody who does not understand the African condition, the climatic condition, the different diseases here, want to treat sicknesses in Africa? We even came out with uh, locally produced medicines against COVID-19. They were stopped. The organ that came from Madagascar was heavily fought. It tells you there is no sovereignty. Can they ever stop Qatar, Lebanon, Syria, Jordan, or any of those countries in the Middle East from doing theirs? Yeah, but when, the when, most when... decent welcome, Mr. Liu, so far, in terms of morality and sanity, took place in an Arab nation. You couldn't enter into a hotel in Qatar with a woman without a marriage, like, marriage certificate. You didn't wear skinny dresses that expose your breasts. Alcohol was not sold anywhere in Qatar. Try it in Cameroon. Qatar has banned homosexuality, no sanction. Yoweri Museveni signed a bill recently in the parliament that enacted the fight against LGBT and they have given them sanctions not to enter yeah, America. But, but, yes, that, 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 was, that was, that was uh, going to uh, take me to uh, one of the last questions I have for you. Is, is that it, it, what, To find out where the difference is, where we have uh, nations that were also colonized like Brazil, uh, we have uh, other Latin American nations, mm -hmm. we have Asian nations that are actually acting like truly independent nations. What is the difference? We don't see these nations invited as a continent or two by single nations like, uh, like uh, China and Russia. They treat as... Um, as um, equals. E as equals, yes. Yes, growth. Where is the difference? Growth. Okay. <laughs> growth. The one word is growth. Growth is as in money to terms or mindset? In terms of mind. Okay. Mindset. You see, when you grow mentally, people don't manipulate you anymore. It's as simple as ABC. You are only a subject to the level of the ignorance. The day Africans will understand who they are, all this nonsense will stop. You see a country like Brazil, Brazil does aircraft assembling. It doesn't produce aircraft. But you see, Brazil has grown beyond the... Even little countries in South America like Venezuela, they are taking their place. We have not grown. I will want to accept what Federal Leclerc said in 1986 during the apartheid. Give African guns, they will kill each other. Give money, they will steal it. It is not a matter of refusing to grow. How, how influential is Singapore? Do you know that Singapore has just a seaport? What gives Singapore money is a seaport. We have the best seas here that can produce even bigger seaport than Singapore. As a matter of fact, there are countries that are growing without, without having one tenth of our resources. It has to do with growth. If the money that we're entering this nation were properly used, they would have been sizing us. You see, you see Rwanda in some years to come. Rwanda will not be treated as a as a as a, as a no nonsense nation, as a, as, a, as a, sorry as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a little nation. Rwanda will be treated because it has come of age. Even in natural life, Mr. Liu, there are people if they don't match up with your status, you cannot associate with them. That's it. The moment so, you start so, growing, so, so Africa has refused. They have refused to grow voluntarily, mm -hmm. refused because of greed, self centeredness, and egocentric attitude. No. Ah, ah, didn't you see the video of the Cameroonian girl who was taking a video with the Holland, the, the, the Netherlands Prime Minister, who was going to work on food? He was. He was on feet going to church, going to do work. But he, remain, but he remains the Prime Minister? He's a Prime Minister. The Irish Prime Minister went to work with bicycle. 
look at the convoy of an African president. No, president. No, not the president. Division officer. That one enough is able to tie 10 kilometers road. Why all this display of, of grandeur when you know that the road that is even escorting you is gallop? A, a, a governor is running with an escort of almost about 200 million when the road is running on, has gallop everywhere. Are we not sick? Do you know why Chinese people don't value us? I will explain to you. I have a friend who lives in China. He said they don't consider Africans with any respect because Africans don't grow. I'm telling you in life, in the natural life, moment you don't grow to a certain level, you cannot interact with certain persons financially. Africa has not grown to match up with those guys. Go to Europe, you'll see the difference now. When we grow, they will respect us. People respect you when you grow.